the risks may outweigh the rewards of breeding rabbits in the summer. Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah. Uh, we do a lot of rabbit breeding here on the homestead. We eat a lot of rabbit meat. Uh, but in the summertime, it can be really hard on the rabbits uh, to continue your breeding program. So I wanted to talk today, now that um, our part of the country is really heating up, uh, it, it made me think that I needed to share with you guys uh, some information that I've learned over the years about breeding in the summer. Um, now, the first piece of information that I wanted to share with you is that on our homestead, we stop breeding when the high temperatures um, are about 85 degrees or hotter. Uh, over the last couple weeks already, we've been in the upper 80s, low 90s, uh, with a uh, weather index, you know, a heat index of 100 to 105 degrees, and that is really stressful on rabbits. Uh, not to mention if they're pregnant, that's even more stressful on them. Now, uh, male rabbits, the bucks, actually will go temporarily sterile once your daytime temperatures are about 80 degrees or higher. Um, now, there is some argument that if you breed early in the morning um, after it's been cooler overnight, you may have successful breedings and that may be uh, the case. Uh, but keep in mind uh, the progression of the months that are coming up. With the 28 to 31 day gestation period, um, you're not just worrying about can uh, the rabbit conceive, but also what is that weather going to look like not only on the day that she kindles, gives birth, uh, but also in the uh, first, you know, month or so of those baby bunnies. Uh, now, let me back up a little bit. So we talked about the buck going uh, potentially uh, temporarily sterile for the summer, um, but you know, the, the heat of the summer is stressful alone. Uh, but to be pregnant on top of that, uh, wearing a fur coat and probably a layer of fat uh, can be too much for the doe rabbit, for the mama rabbit. Uh, she may die. Uh, last year, I didn't plan things right. It was our first real summer uh, breeding rabbits uh, in uh, the southern Missouri. And actually, we don't do it anymore. Uh, but last year, I had uh, one of my moms almost die giving birth. Uh, she successfully had seven or eight. She wasn't quite right after that. I think that she sustained some brain damage. Uh, and that's just a risk that from now on, I don't want to run. So on our homestead, 85, hotter than that, no more breeding, uh, no more giving birth. So we talked about the bucks, we talked about the does. Let's talk about the babies. So when the babies are born, uh, they cannot regulate their temperature on their own. Um, the mom may build a beautiful nest full of fur, which will create an even hotter environment for those babies. Um, if you have a good uh, fur puller and uh, she made a beautiful nest, uh, if you come into this situation, you may want to remove some of that uh, nesting material, some of that fur to help those babies. Uh, but those babies really only have two, one, but maybe two opportunities a day uh, to become hydrated. And that is from their mom feeding them. Uh, rabbits aren't like humans where they feed their babies every you know, hour and a half or two hours at the beginning. Rabbits really only feed their babies twice a day. So when it's getting very hot and they get overheated, they can get dehydrated and you can lose kits. Uh, so that is also uh, a very big risk of trying to breed in the summer. If it is very important for you to continue breeding over the summer, there are a few things that you can do to make it less stressful on the rabbits and increase the potential of having happy, healthy, uh, and lots of babies, large litters. Uh, the first thing is that you can uh, climate control everything, uh, bring in an air conditioner, a swamp cooler, um, you know, for viability of the sperm count of the bucks, you may want to move them inside for the summer uh, to keep them at a temperature that is 80 degrees or less. And then you can bring the doe inside to breed. You always bring the, the doe in with the buck to breed and then return her back to her cage uh, or her house 
Uh, so that's one option. Uh, climate control overall for your entire rabbit tree uh, would help when the does are so pregnant, full of babies, really hot with that fur coat on, uh, to help them uh, not die of heat stroke while they're trying to give birth um, and so that they can survive and nurse their babies. Climate control will also help those babies maintain their body temperature so they have more of an opportunity to survive, not get dehydrated, not also die of heat stroke. If you find yourself in the position where it has all of a sudden gotten really hot and you had not an anticipated that, uh, there are a couple things that you can do to help mom get through labor and to keep cool and healthy. Uh, you can bring fans into your rabbit tree. Uh, you can bring misting fans into your rabbit tree as long as it has enough ventilation, as long as it's outside. So you're not creating a mold problem, a, an opportunity for bacteria to really grow and thrive and create an unhealthy environment for your rabbits. Uh, you can freeze water bottles if your rabbits don't chew up all kinds of plastic. Uh, you can put that in with their cage and they'll lay next to, to it. They'll lick it to keep themselves cooler. Uh, you can mist their ears a couple times a day. Uh, one great idea that we haven't implemented here on the homestead yet, but I've learned about from other uh, subscribers and viewers, uh, is to buy ceramic tiles like you would put in your kitchen or in your bathroom in your home and uh, put that in there for them to be able to lay on because those stay a lot cooler for them and they'll sprawl out on that. And always, always, always make sure that they have access to water and that they're never in direct sun. Uh, that those two are two sure ways uh, that your, your rabbits are not going to be able to keep themselves cool uh, and that they're going to die of heat stroke. So you guys, I hope you learned something today about breeding rabbits in the summer. Every person's environment is different. All the weather is going to be different. The seasons are going to be different and your needs and requirements of your homestead and your family are going to be different. So you guys have to determine if it's uh, best to run the risk to continue breeding or if you should hold off. Now we are going to hold off and start breeding again uh, in the middle to end of August so that they're having babies in the middle of end of September. Uh, by that time it should cool off enough for them to be safe and to be able to raise some healthy babies again. If this is your first time checking out one of our rabbit videos, just want to let you know that we have a whole playlist of rabbit videos that teach you how to raise rabbits for meat and become much more self-sufficient on your homestead. Uh, I'll put a link to that playlist uh, right up here and you can check that out. If this is your first time on our homestead, welcome. We're so glad to have you. Right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Um, and for all you traditionalists who come back every video five days a week, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. And until next time, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.